Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick, and the end of the world has come. Oh wait a minute, what's that? The end of the world as we know it, because it, I know this is one of those winter solstice occasions that was much anticipated for the end of the world, but depending on who you are, it could have been the end of the world or a new beginning with, well, a new beginning? I don't know, how's your life changed? President Barack Obama re-elected for a second term. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. It's the end of the world, and it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, yeah, because in, in, in reality, I mean, the, the okay, they said, uh, I love this, it's got to be the most dazzling thing I've heard. The Republicans are fighting among themselves. The party is coming to an end. No, it's basically what happens when the party leadership simply doesn't do They've lost two straight elections by putting senior citizens against a, a, a person of, a, of another generation and they knew they weren't going to be able to win because young people are not going to elect a senior citizen again and, oh, and the older people don't want one of them. So now, well they're infighting now and the younger Republicans are wanting the older Republicans out. Well, yeah, because they led into two straight disasters. They, uh, one of the people last night said, he said, um, he said, I'm not even an American and I could have beaten the president. Well, actually, most of the people that voted for the president were Americans also. But, mm -hmm. uh, but they figured it was an election they could not have lost and they did lose it. And Obama urges a smaller fiscal cliff deal. Yeah, his idea of a smaller fiscal cliff deal is that it's exactly the same thing that he wants. He wants the same amount of money, he wants the taxes on the same amount of people, and he wants, and he wants the same spending. That's not, an, that's not a smaller deal. It's his huge deal that is never going to get approved. The, okay, what the test vote that Bonnier did with Plan B was nothing more than to find out how many Republicans would vote with him and the Democrats to give the tax raises that Obama wants. He couldn't get, uh, I think they said he had like 15 or 16 Republicans, and he needed 40 to get to, to make it pass and he couldn't get all he got was the Republican old guard decided with him and no one else. And consumers mood sours. Isn't that amazing? The consumer <laughs> mood sours right underneath the part consumer settlement has never been higher. That uh, the you know that you know this is going to be a great Christmas and then, then comes the people that are actually selling a merchandise and they did their polling. People are basically don't have any money. They're not buying anything, and sales are going to be below last year's sales. Mm -hmm. And San Bernardino paid two million dollars in cash outs before bankruptcy filing. And now they're not going to let them. They're not going to allow them to, uh, to file bankruptcy now, knowing that they basically paid all of these bonuses to people before they did it. They, you know, it said as soon as they, what was it? The judge said as soon as they claw back every penny that they gave to those people then they will allow the city to file for bankruptcy and not until then. Until then, they're just going to have to pay this out. They're going to have to, they said, find the money to pay the bills because until you get that two million back, which should never have been given out. So I mean, can you imagine paid off bonuses to all the union people, to all of everybody before they and then file for bankruptcy. And distracted pedestrian crashes live weather report. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. You know, the, the, and, uh, that's why you don't do things live. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's why you don't do things live anymore. <laughs> and Mike, what? Well, we've done things live. We know what happens when you're live. <laughs> I swear, it's like you think you're live, and they'll sit there and disrupt it just so they can be on it. Oh God, they get in. I mean, they'll. They uh, are you on? Are you live? Yeah. I mean, it, it's like. Why are you asking? Because the, the, you these are people that are these are people that are on camera all the time. Will deliberately get on your thing with that question. Are you live? Yeah. yeah. Duh. There's a camera right there, and, and there's you're a red them light on, on the camera. camera. There's a camera crew. There's a red light, and then they wander right into you. And Microsoft Motorola file to keep patent case and details private. Yeah, they're basically going after, uh, okay, they're going after Apple. Apple is basically on its heel. They said that um, Apple is now putting everything they have into Apple TV. And they have to get it done before CES because uh, CES is going to pound on them. The Apple, uh, the Apple conference is generally held during CES, but this year because Apple has been stinking, mm -hmm. the people are going to CES. 
Oh, really? Ah, uh, interesting. Yeah, the Apple, because they're... Um, is Apple doing their conference this year? They always do the conference during CES to try yeah. to draw people away. But what happens is people go, they go they go to press day at CES and then go over to the Apple thing. But Apple is no longer giving press toys anymore, so it's, they have no inclination to come. And McAfee says, will not return to Belize. Willing to talk to police. Oh, well, yeah, well, because he doesn't have to return to Belize. He's in the United States now. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that police has an extradition treaty with the United States because they don't tend to re, uh, they don't tend to send people here, uh, you know, that basically commit crimes there against Americans. So consumer prices fall for the first time since May. They have a, okay, uh, there are no falling of prices. Well, actually, what it is, that here's the trick: is gas is down and coffee is down, and that's caused. That's called consumer prices are falling. No, go buy milk, folks. Go buy bread. Go buy sugar. Go buy canned goods. The prices are up. And Walmart and Kroger are among bidders for Hostess assets. Yeah, uh, because Kroger, um, Kroger and Walmart both have their own um, bakeries. So they probably said what's going to happen. They said that um, uh, Walmart basically wants the Twinkies and Kroger wants the um, Hostess cupcakes. So what's going to do? They'll both end up with parts of the company, and uh, one of the companies is union, the other isn't, and the judge isn't going to simply, the judge is going to think, well, the same bakery's union is the reason why Hostess no longer exists, so I'm not going to give it to Kroger's, because the idea is to save the brand, you don't save the brand by putting it back in jeopardy again. Mm -hmm. And treasuries fall for a second week amid inflation concern. There's no inflation, didn't you just hear you know, prices are lower, and that, uh, oh, I, I, I love this this morning, that guy, one of the people on, uh, on Bloomberg said this morning, um, they said, uh, somebody, ra somebody raised the interest rates one-tenth of a percent and almost made a profit. <laughs> <laughs> and Best Buy slumps on amended agreement with founder. Yeah, because um, what it is, is they don't think they're going to survive the the holiday season, if they don't survive the holiday season, then the people that are in charge of Best Buy are in no position to turn down any offer. So uh, they said he's going to offer less money after the holidays than he did now because they're, they're, they're tanking. You go to Best Buy and you'll see the floor don't have as much merchandise mm -hmm. on them anymore. And they basically, it looks like they're selling merchandise that people are giving them uh, a uh, you know, but they're paying them money to sell Windows 8 and other things. Mm -hmm. Which, folks, I have managed to figure out how to circumnavigate that guy off a front program. And Hollywood's quiet so far on gun control after Connecticut. Oh, but they are telling you there's a difference between violence turned out by Democrats and violence turned out by Republicans. More violence in movies and video games mm -hmm. by Republicans is meant to uh, stimulate the senses and cause violent activity, where violence put in movies by democratic filmmakers and video games is to meant to show you the follies of what you're doing. And it's all, it's, you, you learn lessons from what we do. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing, folks. I hate to tell people, Dejanko was turned out by a left-wing liberal. And, uh, and basically they're telling Jimmy Fox, well, I'm happy. I got to, I got to kill whiteys. That's what's going to happen to him under Obama. But what was it? They now know what the future is like under the first end president in the history of our nation. U.S. policy gridlock holding back the economy. Maybe not. No, it has nothing to do with it because everybody, they said virtually all of Wall Street knows they're going to simply kick the can another year. And next Christmas they'll worry about it. The problem is, here's what it works is. Obama is only president of the, oh, i got to cover up Rex's ears, Rex is like, he's only president as long as the United States Senate wants mm -hmm. him to be president. If they get tired of him, they will impeach him because there are so many things like his, well, nobody is actually responsible for the death of those people in Benghazi. We made no cover up. We didn't do anything. They, well, they're, they, uh, they, they know who to put the blame on. Hillary Clinton is refusing to take the stand because Hillary Clinton, to protect her own butt, will probably blow the whistle on the president. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, the sad thing about it, Bill Clinton's a really nice guy. I mean, I, I bought him a hamburger once, and he gave me a bad cigar. But, <laughs> but no, it, uh, it, because he knows that he won't let her lie to protect Obama, <clears throat> her concussion is going to have to become permanent. Ooh, animonte yeah. bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. 
Uh, okay, I never can remember what I did 10 minutes ago. Long time. Okay, oh, Rex says that uh, listen carefully to what people say because what people say is not often what they want people to hear.